In today's video, we're going to see if we can hold boiling water in our hands. Guys, we are here with our friend Grace, and Grace has a really cool experiment to show us today. I do. So being a meteorologist, vapor pressure is something we deal with on a daily basis. So I figured, why not bring it to the TKOR family? I love it. Here's the basic idea. We have a container of water and we're going to see if we can pull a vacuum and get it to boil in our hands. After that, we also have an at-home experiment for you to see water boil in a syringe. Now we've got a vacuum pump here and we've done plenty of stuff with vacuums and using our vacuum pump before. We've got a bit of an upgrade we're borrowing today because our little vacuum pump works great for most things. This should work just a little bit better. And in the world of vacuum pumps, a little bit better can really mean a lot. Yeah, so we're gonna hook it up to this awesome device that our props guy, Chris, helped us come up with. So huge shout out to him for helping us get all the pieces going for this so we can really pull a strong vacuum. Also, this was made out of a special material so we can make it really hot and we can make it really cold. So if you're gonna try this at home, I definitely recommend doing our at-home version instead of doing this in a mason jar or something because it does have the potential to shatter. Okay, that's good to know. So. <laughs> Walk us through it. What do we have here for the project? For sure. So at first we have this water that we have just at room temperature. It's super chill, just hanging out. Um, nothing special about it. And we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to this vacuum and see if we can get a nice seal and get it to boil. So when you say that we're going to get it to boil, we've done this in the past with our own vacuum chamber where water boils, but it's not hot. That's the cool thing. So we're going to suck all of the air out of here and have it uh, see what it does. So what's really cool is if we do get it to boil, the first thing we'll be seeing with this rapid explosion of bubbles is going to be all of the gases leaving the water. So cool. most water that we just have around has gases dissolved into it. It's not very noticeable when the gas is just oxygen and nitrogen like what's in the air. If it's carbon dioxide, it's very noticeable because some of that dissolved gas comes out when you pour it or drink it and that's what makes it fizz. Oxygen doesn't fizz so much the same way carbon dioxide does, but we can still pull it out of the water. We can all hold it because the cool thing is we have this super handy dandy thermometer that is going to allow us to show that the temperature right now is 72.5. We're gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on and see if it stays the same temperature. I like right. it. First thing I notice is that and it wants to fall that's over. Hey, already bubbling a lot. check it go. out. Nice. I think we went past the dissolved gases coming out straight yeah. to the uh, boiling the water itself very quickly there. Very quickly. So it's really cool is you have the atmospheric pressure and then you have this boiling point. And so what we're doing is we're swapping those. So as we lower the pressure, the vapor can move up and so it can boil out easily, easier, but we're not changing the temperature at all. What's really cool is if we have a vacuum strong enough is we can actually surpass that boiling level and go into a freezing level and actually freeze water by boiling it. Because the gases are so excited and escaping that you are just left with so it, frozen as, water. As we put lower the pressure, the boiling point of the water goes down and so it's able to boil, but it's still the warmest bits of the water that are boiling off. Yes. And so we're continually just getting rid of the warmest water over and over, and eventually that's actually going to bring the temperature of the water down theoretically to a point where it could freeze. Now we have quite a bit of water in here to try to get to freeze, I would expect. Yes, yeah, so it's not gonna happen with this large amount of water. We actually did some prototyping before we did this experiment and we found that it's incredibly difficult and you have to have an incredibly strong vacuum to get it down to that level that it freezes. And a lot of people also cheat by adding a little bit of acetone to get it to freeze. That would do it. Yep. <laughs> so we decided that if we were gonna do it, we were just gonna do it with pure water. So getting it down to that point can be fairly difficult. So today we're just going to have it more at room temperature and boiling. So has it gone down in temperature at all, Nate? Uh, currently I'm getting a reading of 68. Okay, so a little bit. Yeah. That's cooler. Go. Hmm. There it is. Ah! Wow. You are holding boiling so water. So you can hold boiling water at room temperature. Oh, very exciting. Now, does it feel like it's cooling off in your it hands? It does. It's getting colder in my hands as I'm holding it. I can feel it. It was much warmer at first, and now I can literally feel 
the temperature dropping as it pulls the heat from my hands and then pulls it through All the rest the warm of the system. Water dis disappears. Yeah. So this is working pretty good. We just saw you holding boiling water. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. So another real life example of evaporative cooling is our sweat. Our bodies do this naturally, so we sweat to cool ourselves off. But a cool example, so we don't have to get all physically active and all that, is hand sanitizer. Okay. So you go ahead and take a squirt on your hands and you rub them around. I'm just seeing if this will register. My, my palm currently is hitting about 88 Fahrenheit. Now you rub it around and you go like this. And your hands feel very cold. Very cold. My hand was at 88 and now it's at 80. Okay, so wait. So we, we had Ooh, a noticeable sorry. temperature difference. Evaporative cooling! Yeah, so I thought that was a super cool experiment to do at home with evaporative cooling and brings the real life into your household. Just grab um, some hand sanitizer and you can feel it. Exactly. So we boiled water and we held boiling water. So now we're going to do the opposite. Callie, you're going to use a little bit of fire and bring our okay. uh, thing to a, our flask to a boil, and then we're going to see if we can get boiling water by using ice cold water. All right, so with this experiment with boiling water, we're going to boil water the normal way, the way that we all eat pasta, <laughs> with heat. So we're going to increase the temperature of the water with some fire, Callie's favorite thing. This is basically the temperature is going to go up um, we're not doing it the way we did before. We decreased the pressure and it's just gonna be super fun. Then we're gonna cork it and then we're gonna pour some ice cold water over top of it and see if we can keep that boil going. And a quick note on what she just said, talking about how this is more like how we would cook pasta. It's not the boiling action that lets you cook food. So pasta, eggs, things like that. If you put it in water and lower the pressure around it, they will not cook. They'll <laughs> just sit there in cold water Chilling. With no real change any more than just sitting in a pot without any heat on it. If you had high pressure and added heat and the water didn't boil but still got up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it would still cook even though the water itself would never boil under the high pressure. So that's why at really high elevations it sometimes takes longer to cook foods because it boils at a lower temperature, but we can't cook food just by putting it in a vacuum and boiling the water like that. We've started our boiling, but it's just the tiny bubbles right now. Okay, quite the rolling yeah, boil now. Yeah, perfect. We so good to go? We're just going to very quickly put a yes. stopper on it. Very quickly. Awesome. And now if you want to push that stopper down and then flip it on over in here. See, we have no boil anymore. Okay. Starting and to boil. It's boiling again. Woo! Check it out. Water with ice. Nice! That was awesome. That worked really wow. well and it's still going. Woohoo! That was really cool, Grace. And Thank we you. we did successfully submerge the GoPro as well, which is good. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> so you can successfully create these vacuums within themselves and you can boil water with ice cold water. That's really Very awesome. Cool. I, I think, think that was fantastic. That worked amazingly well. I've never seen anyone do that before. It's pretty fun. I think we have one more experiment that's a very DIY. This is something that people at home can easily do. <laughs> you do not need these for that experiment, <laughs> that is for sure. We pass out our syringes and this is a very good home DIY for you to create your own vacuum and boil your own water in a syringe. These, these are just like dosing syringes. You can yeah, often yeah. find them at Walmart as like party syringes. I think people use them to do shots or something like that. Well, Grace um, says this or, one works really well. Yeah, this it's one, a turkey injector. It's for, you put flavor into meat and stuff. We just don't have the needle on it. So when you're doing this at home, the first thing you're going to want to do is flush out the air from your syringe. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to fill up our syringes and you see those air bubbles, we want them all gone. So you're going to go and like push it in really, really hard. See, you got some air bubbles. Or you can do it the fancy way like Nate and push it all out. So yeah, hopefully now I have water but no air in there. And you put your finger over the nozzle and then if you pull, your water boils. Yeah. You're doing the same thing. It looks like she's getting air in there but there's no air. It's a vacuum. So that's really fun and again, that's definitely something you can do at home. These little injection syringes, I think they're like Six dollars or How something like that. How did that even hit I think you? I broke mine. <laughs> Grace, thank you so much. That's of course. Really cool. Let us know how it works for you at home. We'd love to see your videos on how your syringe vacuums work. Tag us on Instagram.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and check out the rest of our videos. We'll see you soon.